Hello and welcome to the Bookworm Podcast. Uh, This is a father and son podcast where we're going to get together and we're going to talk about a novel every nine weeks. So uh, welcome. I'm Vance, father of... Hi, my name is Bryson Shelton. And we're just going to dive right into this. I hope you enjoy it and... Today, what is the name of the book we're going to be talking about? The name is Park's Quest. Who wrote this book? The person that made the book is Katherine Patterson. Nice. Can you give me a quick description of what this book right here may be about? Um, It's about this 11-year-old boy that wants to know more about his father, but his mom won't really talk about it. So he goes to his dad's family to learn more about his dad. Hmm. But why would he not know his dad? Um, His father passed away when he was like three months old. Oh, so he's trying, he's trying to go figure out what happened to his dad. He never really got to know him, right? So he has to go on like a, a mission to go find out what happened to his dad, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds pretty interesting. What made you pick this project uh, for your novel project or this book for your novel project? The back of the book looked interesting. It said, like, you know, his mother wouldn't really talk about his father because it might have made her sad. And it said that he met a lot of obstacles in his quest. Ah, yeah. I could see how that would be pretty interesting. Um, Did you have any favorite characters? In the book? My favorite character was Park because in the last part of the book, he makes his grandpa feel better because his grandpa thought he sent his son to war, which got him killed. Mm. And he's also my favorite character because he's funny, because he says funny stuff about some people in the book. Right. Um, was there any other characters in the book? There's Dana, who, um, like, she's Park's friend, and later on in the book, she tries to hurt Park because he hurt a bird on accident, (laughs) so Dana tries to bite Park, which is... Oh my goodness crazy well i mean they want to hear about conflict that sounds like a conflict to me um was there any other characters that were important i know i heard you talking about his grandpa was there anybody else uh there was frank who was grandpa's friend he helped him get settled into you know their place okay so When the book starts out, if I'm getting this right, uh, Park is interested. He wants to know what happened to his dad, because obviously his dad's not around. He asks his mom, right? Yeah. And she just doesn't really want to talk about it. She's closed off, right? So Park is like, I'm just going to go on a mission myself. So Frank is the person he goes and stays with. Yeah. All right. So that's where, is that where his grandpa lives to? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Frank is like grandpa's friend. Uh Uh-huh. Pretty much. All right. I get it. Uh, Was there parts of this book that made you sad? The last part of the book, when grandpa got sad because... Again, he sent his son to war. It made me sad 
And when Park made him feel better by comforting him and saying it's not your fault and hugging him, it made me happy. Hmm. All right, so you had two emotions kind of at the same time uh, at the end of the book. Uh, why do you think the author wrote this type of book? He, I think he wrote the book because you shouldn't show. She, right? It's okay. Oh, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> She wrote the book, I think, because she's trying to tell everybody that you should be glad that you still have a father. Well, if you do. Um, and I think she wants to tell people that you shouldn't be afraid to make someone feel better just because you think it's going to make it worse. Hmm. So you're talking about... um. He had to make somebody feel better, his grandpa. Yeah. And Dana, because, you know, she was mad that Park killed a bird, or hurt it, actually. <laughs> what do you do to make her feel better? Um. He showed her it was an accident or something? Yeah. He, like killed the bird by like putting it on a rag and like putting a blanket on it so it doesn't get cold or anything oh so he nursed the bird back to good health did the bird live yeah oh it did well that's just joyful so glad the bird lived <laughs> <laughs> um did reading this book uh perhaps make you grateful that you have your dad? Yeah, because he helps me with school, cooks food, turn, I mean, helps me turn on my shower and stuff, makes me laugh, takes me to movies. So I'm pretty grateful. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty grateful for you too. Um, <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah, you know. I was in the military. I was in two wars actually mm -hmm. iraqi mm -hmm. and enduring freedom so oh. something easily could have happened to me over there while i was mm -hmm. in the navy but it didn't and i came back home and had you <laughs> my wonderful buddy so yeah Thanks. i could i could see how that would this book would make you appreciate you know knowing your dad mm -hmm. and being thankful that He's still around. A lot of people don't have that, do they? No. A lot of people either they don't know their dad, or he may have passed away, or he left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good to know both your parents, and I like yeah. that Park. You know, he <clears throat> he took initiative. He wanted to know what happened to his father, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay yeah. to, if something does happen to one of your family members, it's okay to tell them what happened, you know, especially if the kids ask questions. So, I like this book. I can see why you pick it. Um, yeah. Did Park face any problems in the book? Like, I know you said Dan bit him. Because he killed a bird. Did he... Did anything else happen in there? Um, you know, the problem with his mom, she wasn't really talking about him in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it made him really curious, and that's what made him go to his dad's family. Mm -hmm. For answers. How did the book end? Um, and how, how did the book really make you feel at the end? Was it a good ending, bad ending? It was a good ending because his grandpa feels happy at the end because Park comforted him, you know, by saying, hey, it's not your fault. So... 
uh, his grandpa thought it was his fault that his son died. Yeah, because he sent him to go to war. Oh, he put him in the military. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I could see, you know, that making you feel guilty. But at the yes. end, Park, he made him feel better. Yeah. Um, who told him that his dad died in the war? The Vietnam War? Um, they didn't really say in the book. Did his mom finally ever tell him anything at the end? Yeah, it did before Grandpa, you know, said. Mm. Like, she finally told Park that his father died in the... Vietnam? War, yeah. Oh, okay. So after she told him that, um, then that's when he saw his grandpa. What was he doing that night? Was he doing anything? Um, well, he went back to his dad's family house, and he slept there. And one night, he was pushing grandpa around at night outside because he likes it, and then grandpa just started crying. And pointing himself. So that's when he told him, "It's okay. I I know what happened. It's not your fault. Something like that." Yeah. Did his grandpa say it made him feel better? Um, he couldn't actually talk. Oh, he couldn't talk. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> so. After reading this book, um, would you recommend this book to other people? And why would you recommend the book to other people? I would recommend the book to other people because, you know, it taught me a lesson that you should make people feel better if they're sad and you think it's going to make it worse. And the book is kind of funny. And it makes you feel happy whenever Park makes his grandpa feel better. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And did it teach you anything about life? You know, like, I could see recommending it to others, you know, maybe if if they wanted to find out what happened to their dad. Like, give them some courage. Mm. Right? Yeah. Show them it's okay to ask questions and take your own initiative, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it taught me I should be grateful for my dad doing everything he did for me. And just being here, right? You know? Yeah. Even if I don't do stuff, at least I'm here, you know? Mm -hmm. It shows you that a lot of kids don't have stuff like that. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's really... All we got to talk about for this episode, we kind of went over the book, the character setting, the plot, conflicts he faces. Uh, yeah, so the name of the book is Park's Quest by Katherine Patterson. And uh, it's not too long. How many pages is it? Let's see. I think like 140-something. Yep, 148. So, that won't take you too long to read, and my son recommends you read it, so you should read it, right? Yep. Got anything to say to anybody before we go, or are we just going to wrap it up? That's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. Uh, again, I'm Vance, Bryson's dad. Mm -hmm. I'm Bryson, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bookwire Podcast. We're going to be number one. See you later.